Greetings and blessed day to you once again, people of God, just the revelator once again. And hoping the grace and the mercy of our Lord Jesus Christ is with you until the end of time. We are meeting in yet another segment inside the Word of God and praying that His grace and mercy, His love, His protection, His divine motivation will continue giving you the perseverance, the endurance until the end of time. Today, I have been assigned by the Holy Spirit once again with yet another deep exposure another exposure that will give you the knowledge and wisdom to understand certain deep secrets that pertain the mysterious in the things of the spirit and today i want to present the church deep undercover spy the church deep undercover spy but this being the dark undercover spy this particularly being the deep undercover who operates as the dark undercover spy now for us to understand more on this presentation let us get into scriptures in the book of acts in the book of acts chapter 16 verse 14 and a certain woman named lydia a seller of people of the city of Tyatira, which worshipped God, heard us, whose heart the Lord opened, and that she attended unto the things which were spoken of Paul. A certain woman is being explained here, and this particular woman was a seller of people representing the city of Tyatira, which worshipped God and heard the words of the apostle Paul. Not only did she hear the words of apostle Paul, she worshipped God and the scripture even further narrates saying, whose heart the Lord opened when the scripture is giving you a definition or a description about the spiritual particulars of this woman, it is giving you the conviction and the impression that this woman was truly born again. When the scripture says, whose heart the Lord opened. Not only was her heart open, but she attended unto the things which were spoken of Paul. What it means is that each and every word that Paul spoke, each and every word that Paul spoke, this woman would pay attention should listen to Paul. If it was in church, you would find a writing down notes. At any level, she was very observant. She would pay attention. Why? Because the scripture has already informed us that she listened to every word that was spoken by Paul. Now, and when she was baptized in their household, she besought us saying, 
If you have judged me to be faithful to the Lord, come into my house and abide there. And she was not she was not only baptized herself, she was baptized alongside her family. And it came to pass as we went to prayer. A certain damsel possessed with the spirit of divination met us. Now, this was another woman. Now, we have already heard about the particulars of the first woman who was once a seller of paper who gave her life to Christ, opened her heart, and listened to every word that was spoken by the man of God. Now we are being given another character. And the, this time, the damsel that is being explained here was possessed with the spirit of divination. And she met us. And now, her divination brought her master's much gain by soothsaying. Meaning that this damsel, being a diviner, she was operating under certain spiritual authorities. She was not on a, she was not on her own. She was a servant, diviner, under certain particular authorities. And by her soothsaying, she brought much gain to those that she submitted under. The same followed Paul and us. It so happened that the same who was a diviner started following paul and us now this is according to the narrator who is narrating events after having given us the first description of the woman now we're being given the description of this damsel and this woman who had the divination spirit followed us crying saying these men are the servants of the most high god which show us the way of salvation and this she did many days and this she did for so many days that is the part that I underlined, which is specifying that this woman did this act for many days. Surely after hearing the description of this woman, which notifies us that she had the spirit of divination. And then you read the scripture that says, this she did for many days. And what is it that she did for many days? She followed the man of God, Apostle Paul, for many days. And she was crying out, saying, These men are the servants of the Most High God, which show us the way of salvation. And was she telling a lie? She was not telling a lie. Was she mocking? She was not mocking. How could she have been mocking when she was speaking something that was genuine? Indeed, even the demons at one moment confessed. It was actually the demon that was being attempted to be driven out by the sons of Sceva. It says, Paul, I know, but who are you? Jesus, I know, Paul, I know, but who are you? Meaning that Paul indeed was a servant of the Most High God. 
and this was known even by demons but the mystery here is that the fact that this woman did this for many days and Paul did not recognize it the fact that this woman was confessing that Paul is surely the servant of the Most High God and this she did for many days without Paul taking heed that even though this damsel was praising her, but this damsel did not represent the kingdom of God. It leaves me with a mystery, a deep mystery that needs to be investigated. Was Apostle Paul away or Apostle Paul only realized later that this woman had a spirit of divination? This woman is serving in the church of Paul. When it comes to holding the microphone for the man of God, you'll see her holding the microphone. When it comes to testifying, you'll see her testifying. When it comes to confessing the greatness of God on behalf of the church, you will see this woman standing tall, confessing the greatness of Jesus Christ. There is not even a single day that you see this woman quiet. She will be speaking the glory of God. She will be uttering the testimonies of God and the scripture says this she did not just for one day she did for many days and then the scripture then says but one day Paul being grieved the scripture says one day Paul was grieved meaning that there is a certain particular day that finally arrived where Paul got grieved. And what grieved Paul here is, yes, you serve the Lord God loyally. Yes, you confess that I'm the apostle who represents the most high office but there is a spirit that is hiding in you and that spirit has been operating deep undercover not only has that spirit been operating deep undercover but that spirit is a dark undercover agent in the house of God. How is it that I've allowed you to be operating as if you are praising? How is it that I've been allowing you to operate not realizing the spirit that worketh in you? How is it that I've been allowing you to operate is one that endorses the servants of the Most High God. Yet, you are a soothsayer. And above all, you are not only a soothsayer, you have a divination spirit. And furthermore, you don't only have a divination spirit, but you are bringing gains to your master, not only by soothsaying, but by operating in pretense in the lying spirit of divination, not only in the lying spirit of divination, but operating as a deep undercover in the dimension of darkness. This woman was operating 
as a dark agent, a deep undercover agent of darkness inside the house of God. And this she did for many days. I underlined that part when I was reading this part before the Lord presented me to you with this subject. You can have someone that operates deep undercover, but a deep undercover status, his deep undercover status is hidden to the fact that he or she will become so impressive in the works of God. She will become so obedient. He will become so loyal to the level that he or she will operate in disguise for many days without the man of God realizing it. And even if you realize it, it's going to be difficult for you to realize that this is a divination spirit. Why? Because you would have invested a lot of trust. You would have invested a lot of attention inside this particular individual. But Paul being grieved, he turned and said to the spirit, not to the damsel, not to the woman, I command thee in the name of Jesus come out of her at once and he came out of the damsel at that very same hour and when he must have saw that the hope of their gains was gone immediately they caught Paul and Silas and drew them into the marketplace unto the rulers and brought them to the magistrates saying these men being jews do exceedingly trouble our city and teach customs which are not lawful for us to receive neither to observe being romans and the multitudes rose up together against them and the magistrates rent off their clothes and command commanded paul and silas to receive many stripes and even cast them into prison. Child of God, I'm here once again to expose the dark undercover. Not just the dark undercover, the church that dark undercover, the church agent of darkness, the agent of darkness that operates within church structures being led by the divination spirit being led by the spirit of pretense pretending to be loyal and faithful yet operating in the spirit of darkness i'm here to expose once again as the revelator from the realms in the name of jesus <laughs>